Hello. In this session, let us implement a repository for Cosmos DB. To go ahead with this session, we will first need to create a database on Cosmos. As Cosmos DB is cloud native database on Azure, we need Azure subscription for that. If you don't have that, you can simply download and install Cosmos DB emulator on your local system and you can create database in it. Emulator is a nice tool for development. You can find link to download it in the description. I already created Orion DB and story container on Azure portal. While creating new Cosmos DB, you will see this screen for creating Cosmos account. The Cosmos account then can hold multiple databases. Just fill up the, all the details and hit the create button. I would also like to mention that I have used serverless plan. It is very cost effective and best for development purpose. You can select location closest to your location and this account name should be unique. You can either select existing resource group or can create new from here and whatever subscription plan is available for you. Once account is created, then you can create Cosmos DB and container inside that. You can see add container button and when you will hit it, you will see screen something like this. From here, you can create new database. You can specify the container name and then partition key. As Cosmos DB is distributed database, partition key is very important. Looking to data, we need to decide wisely what should be the partition key for this container. For this tutorial, we are going to use ID as a partition key. But you can read more about partition keys and how they affect on performance in the link provided in the description. Cosmos DB will always use ID property as a primary key and that ID should be in small case. So whatever documents we will save in this container should always have small case ID property. One more important thing about partition key is that you can't change partition key once container is created. If you want to change the partition key, then you have to create new container and then you can copy your data from old container to new container. Once account database and container is created, you can go to data explorer and you can see screen something like this. With all this in place, now we can go to our solution and implement repository for Cosmos DB. Back in our solution, let us create orion.cosmos repository class library project under infrastructure folder. While creating this project, make sure that you are saving it under infrastructure folder. If you have this orion.repository folder over here, then you can remove it. It is not required. Again, make sure that infrastructure folder is selected here and then create. Target framework will be .NET 5.0. Remove this class create folder story repositories under that create class story repository make it public and we want to implement i story repository as this is an application project we need to add reference Click implement interface. Now to implement this repository, we will need connection to database and container. And in this class library project, we are not going to use entity framework for Cosmos DB to connect to database, but we will be using NuGet package known as Microsoft.Azure.Cosmos. It will provide us Cosmos client through which we will be connecting to our database. So using this package, when we want to write code to connect to database and container, it's quite complicated and we don't want that code to be in our each and every repository class. So we want to separate it out. So we will be creating another context class, which will hold connection to database and containers. I will be naming this class as a context class as I want to keep it as close as possible to entity framework but there are various other alternatives that you can explore one well-known link to creating cosmos db repository 
I will be sharing in description but I am not using that approach as I found it too complicated to begin with so I tried to keep it as simple as possible but I may need to change it in future if required so first of all we need to install package go to package manager console make sure that cosmos repository project is selected type command install package microsoft.azure.cosmos once installed add interface i story cosmos context under story repositories this interface will have single property story container of container type So basically it will give us reference to our story container which we created in our azure cosmos db and this interface we will be using in our repository to communicate with this container and all other connection details and container creation code will be abstracted by this interface add story cosmos context class to implement this interface As we want to implement this interface, we need get story container property of container type. Fix this. Make sure that you are importing microsoft.azure.cosmos. Now we will write constructor for this story cosmos context. And in that constructor, we will write all the logic to get connected with cosmos db and to get reference of story container. So that code will look something like this. Now you can see this is a commented code. If you are using Cosmos emulator, then these details you can use. It will not change. They are same for all. But if you have created your database on Azure portal, then you need to get these details from keys section. So this is your URI and this is your key. Database name is Orion DB and then we are creating object of cosmos client by passing endpoint and key cosmos client has get container method to which we need to pass database name and container name to which we want to get connected and that we are storing in this property which will be accessed by our repository class to get connected to this container so all this code will get nicely abstracted from our repository. Don't worry about these hard coded stuff over here right now. In future sessions, we will be moving it to appsettings.json file. Now let us go to story repository class. Over here we will need reference to our context class that we just created. We will inject this dependency from dependency injector. Now once we have this reference to our container, we can easily implement CRUD operations over here. So our add method will look something like this. Let us fix this first. To create any document, we need to specify a partition key and we will be using id as a partition key. So we are creating object of it first and then in our cosmos context we have story container which gives access to our container it has create item async method which is built in method to this we are passing our entity object and partition key so create item async will serialize this object in json and will store it to cosmos and it will return us newly created object which we will return it from here now one very important thing while serializing this object we want that it should get serialized in camel case if we will go to this class we have this id and text property now we know that cosmos db need id in small case either we can specify this property in small case one option is that we can use json property provided by newtons of dot json install this package and over here we can specify that what should be the property name while serializing it to json but if you want to serialize all the properties in camel case then you can use json object and specify that naming strategy type should be camel case naming strategy so it will convert all our properties to camel case 
while serializing a to JSON. So we will be using this approach. But if you don't want to do that, you can always use JSON property. So I will simply put comment here. With this change in place, come back to story repository. Now get async should read all the story documents from story container. So the code will look something like this. Let us fix this. Here we are first creating object of query definition where we are specifying a scale query. It's quite simple. We want to select all the stories. Let us keep it simple for now. But in future, obviously, we will be adding paging and filtering to it. Then in our container, we have get item query iterator method to which we need to pass query definition. And whatever the result is, we need to typecast in collection of stories. We are creating one list of stories store the result which we will get from Cosmos. This while loop we need because query dot read next async will read 100 records at a time. And if there are more than 100 records, then we need to continue this loop until we don't found any more records. In real life, if you are sure that you restricted your paging to maximum 100, then you may not need this loop. In every iteration, whatever response I am getting, I am adding it to this result. Obviously, if you have less than 100 records, then this loop will run only once and then we will be returning that result. Get by ID will look something like this. Let us fix this. Again, to fetch record by ID, we will need partition key. And this is advantage of using ID as a partition key. We know it in advance. Then to read item async method, we will be passing ID of the document that we want to fetch and the partition key. And it will read that JSON document and will typecast it to story object that we can return it from here. Update method will look something like this. Again, we will need partition key and we will be calling upset item async method to which we are passing the object which has updated data and the partition key. Upset item async is smart enough to identify if this record exists. It will use ID property of this object to find out if record exists. If that record exists, then it will update that record and will return back the updated object that we are returning to the client and the last one is remove async it will look something like this now i am fetching the record first using this id this is the extra step that i am doing it is not required if we don't want to return anything from remove method but here we are returning the object that we removed that's why i am first fetching it in this then again we will need partition key and we will be using delete item async method of our container and we'll be passing id of the document that we want to delete and the partition key it will remove that item and will return us the success but it doesn't return us that removed object that's why we already fetched over here that object we will be returning from remove method once all this in place we need to inject proper dependencies for that, let us add dependency injection class. So in this static class, we will write extension method for service collection, add Cosmos repository. To this service collection, we will add few items and we will return it back. So the very first item that we will be adding to this service collection is story Cosmos context class. Notice that we are adding it as a singleton as it contains Cosmos client which establishes connection to Cosmos DB. We don't want to recreate connection in each request. So always add Cosmos connection class as a singleton. Then we need to add our repository class. Repository class we are injecting as a scoped lifetime. Then we need to call this method from our startups configure service method. So go to startup class first we need to add reference to cosmos repository project so right click on dependencies add a project reference cosmos repository then make call to add cosmos repository fix this 
you can also see that there is one another called add repository actually it is calling our sql server repository for clarity you can rename it add sql repository but now as we want to use cosmos repository and not sql repository we need to comment this line and boom with this change in place without changing any code in our application layer and domain layer we will be saving all the data now in cosmos db instead of sql server let us run and test it let us try creating story and the story is created for you let us validate if it got created in cosmos db or not go to azure portal data explorer story container items refresh it and here the record is created you can debug and test all other methods and check if you can get the list of record get it by id update it and delete it with this we can stop here if you like this content then please like and subscribe so that you can get notification whenever new videos will get uploaded thank you